The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're gonna today we're gonna check out a shortcut to making trap. Arps. Now what an arp is, is a melodic and rhythmic starting point for your beats. When you take a chord and you play the notes of that chord really fast. And we're going to be pulling up a couple tools to make this happen quickly and easily. And the first one is going to be Cthulhu. Just drag it and drop it on our first MIDI channel. And Cthulhu is a chord generator made by the same company that brings you Serum. And there's a preset down here available at wholeloops.com. And since I'm in a good mood, I'm going to uh, pick something in a major key, and since we're making a trap beat, let's do B major. B is a good key for trap beats. Now we got our arp going, our chords going. We can turn off the sawtooth generator and close out of Cthulhu. And now we'll go pick out a synth for Cthulhu to run. So I'm going to try Omnisphere. Tell the Omnisphere channel to get its signal from Cthulhu, and then just hold Command. Now we got them both running. And let's just go down to something nice and organic and percussive. Boom. I like it. Let's see what we get. Hey. Let's go ahead and record in our ARP. My timing was a little off when I recorded it in, but it's just easy to fix. Now this is sounding kind of fast, so we're going to put a plug in on it that's going to make it half time. And you guessed it. And all we did was just hit the halftime button on here too. So we kind of like double halftimed it. Hey, hey, hey. So we got our original signal and our halftime signal. That sounded pretty good. We can get rid of Cthulhu now that we don't need it anymore. And we're just gonna drop in some drums real quick. Let's try the brand new Hot Tropics 3, available at wholeloops.com. Let's see, I'm gonna load this one up on the first two. Maybe we'll do an open hi-hat too. That one's pretty good. I'm also gonna change this from trigger to gate so that when we play it, it, uh. It lets us cut it off when we take our finger off the key. And before we record these hi-hats in, I'm just gonna drop an EQ8 on all of them. I like to low cut these all extra high. Let's go ahead and record in some hi-hats. I like that loop right there. I'm just gonna hit quantize, loop, boom. Let's go ahead and tell these to quantize to the nearest eighth notes. And we can send this one back to the 16th note. And let's go and do a little panning so that we get some kind of alternating panning effect on our hi-hats. Is your sample collection lacking organic tropical flavor? Do you struggle to find the perfect sounds for your next summertime smash? Introducing Hot Tropics 3, the treasure chest of organic drums, loops, and samples that will turn your Latin beats into tropical heat. Hot Tropics 3 is available now only at holoops.com. Sounded pretty good. 
I'm gonna pull a clap in here. I'm just gonna grab this one. We turn up the volume a little bit, turn up the low cut a little bit. Let's go ahead in and record in some claps now. I really like that loop. I'm just gonna highlight it, hit Command J, turn on our loop, quantize it to the nearest eighth note. Call this our claps. Let's move on to the next instrument. I think I'm gonna pull in a kick. Actually, you know what? Let's do the 808. There's some brand new disrespectful subs in Hot Tropics Volume 3. We're just gonna pull one of these. Ooh, this one's already in B. Perfect. Let's just double click it. And uh, it's got a little bit of silence, like a little kind of like slope up to the beginning. So we're just gonna cut that off for this track. We can turn off the filter. I'm gonna turn the sustain down a bit because I want the attack to come from just running the volume nice and high. And when I say high, I like to run this volume at a pretty disrespectful volume. Boom. Time for some disrespectful 808s. Make it into a loop, highlight all these, and quantize them. Now, a little bit of kick drum. I like number 25 a lot. Let's go ahead and uh, drop this one in. I'm gonna do the same thing where we pull the sustain down, turn the volume up. Maybe a little bit of the sustain back. Let's go ahead and give this beat some kicks. Might go through and delete one or two, but let's just quantize these and see what we get. Let's go ahead and add in a couple percussions. I'm going to pull up an impulse. I'd like to get maybe a uh, cowbell. I like this sound. And this isn't even really a cowbell, but I kind of like this sound anyways. Maybe I'll just trans transpose it down one. Kind of matches the same key as the cowbell now. Let's finalize this beat with a little percussion. Hey. Yeah, this beat's definitely overheating my CPU, but that just about concludes your shortcut to making a trap beat out of an ARP. Let's just give this a little quick arrangement and uh, hear what our beat sounds like. Boom. Let's leave this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there you have it. That is my shortcut guide to starting your trap beat with an ARP. I hope you found these tips and tricks useful. And if you'd like me to cover anything else, feel free to leave it in a comment below. And I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.